Hey, what's up, you guys? I used to make a lot of videos, but no one really watched my shit, so I deleted it because I thought it was kind of awkward about watching a bunch of vid videos about a guy struggling. There's no videos. <laughs> I'm not saying that there has to be, but like, fuck. Thought I was gonna make it off YouTube. Now I'm playing, but um, yeah, you know, I'm just updating on you guys for my last video. I guess my video on that one was a job or something. Yeah, that day I actually had to go meet my probation officer. That's why I was actually fucking emotional. I'm not gonna lie, like a little bitch. But, um, yeah, I had to go meet my PO. I got kicked off the bus because some girl was like, um, you, you have to pay money. But I was like, fuck, girl, I don't even have money. But, like, please, I, I need to pick up my last check. Like, I'm trying to go to my PO and just, my girlfriend's fucking complaining. Cars, my car overheated too. She's fucking having bad luck. And my car <laughs> overheated on the way. But, um, anywho, um, so yeah, I was just like, fuck, I was having a bad day, and um, yeah, update on life, <laughs> hasn't gotten any better, now I'm playing, but um, yeah, it really hasn't, but, you know, I'm living, I'm going through every day, and that's what counts, you take one breath in, take one breath out, you, that's all you gotta do, you take it as it is, you take it on the chin, you know, life is what you make it, you gotta do what you gotta do, but at the same time, do what you wanna do. If you know it's right. Anywho. Um, so yeah. You know. I, I worked at Taco Bell. But then my girl told me. She was just like. You didn't come all the way to San Jose to work at Taco Bell. I was like. Fuck. You right. Did want to work at Taco Bell. Heard you get free food. That is a lie. Uh, maybe it's because I was kind of shy. But. You know. The guy did ask me though. He was like. Bro. You hungry? You hungry? You know. My nigga. Bro. I want to go up in there. Like. Bro. Thank you for this job. Like. You know, like, I really needed, I needed something to, like, help me keep going. After that, I was, stopped working for, like, two weeks, almost a week, you know. Money was going down. <sighs> fucking baby kept fucking eating, and it's formula, you know. Well, it's life. I need fucking food, but sometimes I don't eat, you know. Fucking, just let my girl get the meal or something. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm 19 years old. I'm trying to fucking survive. People used to always tell me I had potential, but, you know, I used to always think, I don't give a fuck how much potential I got. If I don't do shit with it, nothing's going to happen. I try to do something with it, but at the same time, too, I grew bad. I'll admit it. I did dumb things. Why? Oh, fuck no. I did it because I liked it at the time. Do I like it now? Fuck no. I hate it. Regretted it. The fuck got a record now. Back then, I used to, you know, it's funny because I used to be like, I don't give a fuck about a record. Deep down inside, fuck, I do kind of want to be a doctor when I grow up. I'm like, need that clean record. Mm -hmm. But I kept saying fuck it too many times. One day God said, hey, nigga, fuck it. I'm going to let you. You know, find out the hard way. That's why I be trying to tell my little cousin, but he's so hard-headed. And um, this video, it's basically just going to be like, you know, I used to always try to do videos on motivating you guys. But, um, yeah, I can't make videos like that. So I'm just going to fucking preach. I'm going to tell you guys what I've been thinking, what I what the fuck I've been going through in my world. I'm walking around San Jose, you know, there's a million people in here. Out of those million people, believe it or not, this motherfucker right here going through some fucking shit. But I'm anywho. But the thing is that's different between me. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just not out there enough to meet people that have changed. But it's different between me and other people is that I grew up in in a different neighborhood. You know, in a different neighborhood than other people. I did grow up in some suburbs, though, so I understand what it's like to grow up in the suburbs. You gotta remember that. I'm not saying you gotta remember, fuck, make it all weird and shit, but, um, I'm just saying you gotta remember. So I know what it's like to, you know, have a little bit of money. I know what it's like to have none. And I'll tell you this, you know, life, as much as I wish it wasn't about it, money does kind of have a play, you know. You know, if I know that I'm good, I know that I have enough money to. At least buy my baby formula. I'm good. I can do other things that make me happy. That make my purpose in life and this pursuit of happiness more fucking wannable or something. But when you don't, and you, you know, you, you're kind of limited. Believe it or not, you kind of are. Unless you do something out of the extent. But at the same time, too, I wasn't really trying to. But at the same time, it's because I really did. I did before. That's why. <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say right now. Anywho, what I'm trying to say, though, is... What was I talking about? I don't know. I lost what I was talking about. I guess that's the end of the video. Anywho, just remember, people out there going through shit, doesn't matter where the fuck you are. If you're in fucking Alaska, California, wherever. Or Los Angeles, San Jose. 
people are always going to go through shit. There's a car pulling up behind me and it's kind of scary. I'm in this car. What the fuck are you doing? Do I leave? There's like two girls like looking over here. And I'm pretty sure they're not looking at my nose or afro. And I think it's the car behind me. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so just remember, there's people going through stuff in life. So just respect each other every day. You don't know what the next man's going through. But at the same time, too, there's people having a good day. And you just got to go with the vibes. Don't bring that positive shit to someone that's negative. Knowing damn well that you can't really do it. But you know what? Don't bring it. What I'm saying is don't fucking try to pack a punch and give it to them all the way. You know, you got to ease the way up in someone's heart and just fucking keep going. You know, when she in there, just, you know, I didn't mean to make it all weird and shit, talking about slithering up in people, but, you know, you got to really understand someone on the inside and outside. You know, someone could be smiling, but dying on the inside, and you know what? Someone could be dying on the outside, fucking wishing they could smile on the inside, but before that, any of that happens, you got to go out there and just make friends, you know, make everybody happy, share that shit. That's all I try to do, you know what? And um, they're getting out the car, so I'm going to get out and um, maybe drive. I really don't want to get into anything. My car just died, I think. What the fuck? Oh! Maybe making it weird. To my niggas down And I don't know you love Bob puts you in my song We gon' make it off these streets We gon' live long I ain't fucking niggas small shit